This is a prototype of a rotary engine. This is the rotor itself. It has a working plate which is which has two springs attached to it and is placed in a slot in the rotor. Like this. This rotor is placed on a on a cover. This is the st the stator. Stator uh, okay. The rotor goes inside this stator and uh, it has two hills, one, one hill for intake and combustion, and one hill for ex compression and the expansion of the exploded gases. These holes are the exhaust holes, this is the intake hole, this is the compression hole, and these are the holes for the for expanding the gases which are going to be explode, exploded in the combustion cham chamber. These heels have two slots for the seal plates. Seal plates are placed right into those slots and are pressed onto the rotor by the springs which are attached inside of the slots. No, no, no. The compression side of the stator has a check valve right here, which appears as a ball. It acts as uh, it lets the gases inside the combustion chamber, but does not let them out into the into the compression zone. Yeah. This is the combustion chamber, uh, and it is connected to a stator by four bolts this way <clears throat> okay we have installed the combustion chamber and placed the rotor inside of the stator and placed the two seal plates in their place in their slots as the rotor moves rotates clockwise the the fuel mixture is being sucked in into this portion of the intake camera while the fuel is being sucked in into this portion of the intake camera the fuel from the previous rotation is being pushed into the combustion chamber in this part of the intake camera <coughs> uh, as the rotor moves clockwise the fuel mixture in this portion of the intake camera flows into the combustion chamber and uh, fills it up completely. As the rotor moves further, uh, the plate contracts on the springs and uh, and flows over the hill. As, as soon as it passes the hill and uh, the plate is released, the, the spark ignites and the gases that are in combustion chamber explode. Uh, the force of the exploded gases moves the rotor clockwise even further and uh, it moves it moves the rotor further until it reaches the point of uh, until it reaches the point of exhaust which is here as soon as it passes the exhaust portion oh. As soon as it passes the exhaust portion, the access uh, pressure is released through the exhaust pipe and this, the cycle begins again. The rotor, uh, the, the plate pushes the fuel mixture from the previous rotation into the combustion chamber while sucking in the new fuel mixture and Following the same cycle, the rotor will accelerate and
with every rotation as as the gases push the rotor this way the other side of the plate pushes the exhaust from the previous explosion out out of the exhaust pipe okay we have installed the ignition and the carb carburetor and we're going to rotate the rotor with the drill acting as a starter I repeat it is a prototype so the functionality of it is not as good as we would hope it would be just because of the poor execution of the parts okay. uh, so here we go As you can see, the explosion explosions happen every time or every other time. Uh, <coughs> exhaust goes through the exhaust pipe, just as it's supposed to. The only reason why it does not start and accelerate is because of the poor execution of the parts. Some of the exploded gases go into the carburetor chamber, which is which prevents and true bearing and true bearing which is an extensive leakage and it prevents the engine from rotating at its full potential. Oh. All these explosions happen with atmospheric pressure, pressure and are more than enough to rotate the rotor. Again, this is only a prototype, so there is lots of leaks and lots of parts that are executed poorly and uh, that is the only reason why it does not start properly. Uh, that's it.